Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. Now, uh, yes, 1.5 is out. Yay, finally. We've been uh, waiting for this for a long time. Now, uh, if you've been following me for a while now, you would know a lot of my videos dealt with the snapshots, which is 1.5. So um, all of my videos really dealt with a lot of inventions and things to do with uh, all of the new features. But I've never really focused on the features themselves. So what I'm going to do, Today I'm just going to have a quick look at, at the comparator. Now I'm not going to be do the technical um, in-depth look at the comparator where you know the comparator compares one signal strength to the other and contraptions like that. I'm going to do the slightly the other side. What else you can do with the comparator? So instead of doing the the, the kind of serious programming side of it, I'm going to show you the kind of the cool side, the cool things it does. Now um, this is what a comparator looks like. Okay, so you can see, so it, it looks a bit like a repeater. So here's a comparator, and there's a repeater. Okay, so uh, it's the it's the clever cousin of the repeater. Okay, and this is how you make it. So it's smooth stone, smooth stone, smooth stone. Uh, it's quartz ore and three torches. Now quartz ore is found in the Nether. So if we really pop over to the Nether, um, let me see. There should be some. Well, there. Well, you can see them. There's some. There's some. So the whole nether is now littered with, with quartz. So let's just quickly quartz ore. So let's just quickly uh, mine some and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Right, so um, this is quartz ore. Oh, it actually mines very, very ah, I'm in creative, that's why. Uh, game mode one or zero, game mode zero. Okay, so there we go and that's it. That's quartz ore. Or quartz or yes now why are these things not right so and this is basically what they look like okay nice little quartz so uh, yeah let's get back to how uh, how we use this right now um, as I said before I'm not going to be doing the the, the technical side of it oh now I'm stuck here let me just quickly get Right, I'm going to do the cool stuff. So what uh, a comparator can be used for is status changes uh, in various blocks. For example, a chest. This is a normal chest. So if I, oh, let me just quickly change my game mode again. So if I go and get a chest, so you'll see this is a chest, not a trapped chest, just a plain normal chest, okay? And I get rid of it and I just pop it in there. So you'll see the comparator that's pointing away from the chest is going to test if anything is in that chest or anything changes in that in that chest. If it does, it'll power up this block, which will power up the, uh, the the redstone lamp. So if I just pop in redstone lamp in there, you'll see voila. Okay, it successfully outputted a signal. So if I take it out, you'll see it goes off, on, off, on. Okay, great stuff. But what is really great about the comparator is that it'll output a signal strength based on the amount of items in there. So you'll see, for example, there's one item in there, and I've only got a signal strength of one. Okay, so what it does, uh, it actually looks at the amount of available space and then calculates uh, it, a full a signal will be... 15 blocks, so it'll be 15, a, a, a signal strength of 15. So it'll work out how many of these uh, slots needs to be completely filled before it outputs another signal. So if I put in, for example, something that is not stackable, so it's a splash potion, so the splash potion will be, you know, quite, quite a high, uh, it's still only a signal strength one. The moment I put in another splash potion, okay, you'll see it gave me two signal strengths and it turned on the lamp. Right, so if I just extend it a little bit more, okay, uh, just pop the lamp down there, I've just extended it one more. So if I put in, uh, let's just get another potion here. So if I go and get another potion, uh, any, any potion would do. Uh, if I pop in another potion, okay, should do nothing. Uh, I need one more potion, I think. So let's just get another potion. Okay, if I pop that in there. All right, you'll now see it output a signal strength of three. Right, so this is a really pretty, pretty cool. Okay, it's really cool. It's 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 going to revolutionize the game a lot. So you can kind of build indicates to tell you when your chest is filled up. Um, you can t you can, for example, build something where if something is removed out of the chest, it 
springs a trap because uh, just okay. So to, for example, to show you, if uh, I now take this is okay. This is going to be a bad mistake. So if I take um, let's take TNT. So if I just uh, remove this block, ah, uh, put in a torch, and pop in some TNT on top of the torch, like so. Okay, the moment moment this chest is empty, so I can take this out, nothing's going to happen, okay, because there needs to be at least one item, even if it's stack, non-stackable, one item in there, okay, the moment I take that out, okay, it sets off the TNT, so I'm just going to get rid of this TNT before it does damage, there we go, so yeah, be prepared for some very nasty, nasty traps, okay, so that's one thing, so that was a normal chest, a normal Plain, straightforward, normal chest. The next thing is it's great for test for commands. Okay, so if I want to say um, uh, test for at player x uh, level equals 5. Uh, level. Okay, so minimum level equals 5. So LM equals 5. Okay. You'll see I'm not, I've got no level. So, so it will test false. So if I give myself xp... Uh, five levels okay so you'll now see that I have five levels here it'll now be positive all right so you'll see the light go on if I remove my five levels so it's negative five bang it on it's off so it doesn't have to be XP it can be anything at all anything at all um, right so for example if I use the clear command so if I go uh, clear at P, uh, let's say we remove stone. Okay, so if it re if we remove stone, so let's see if I've got stone. Okay, so I've got stone. I'm just going to get rid of it. So if I hit that button, you'll see it won't activate because it was unable to clear any stone. Okay, if I pick up the stone and I clear that, you'll see that it has removed the stone from my from my inventory and then actually outputted a signal. So when a command block, you run a command on a command block and it ex is successfully, um, and it successfully run. So it's, if it runs a successful command, it will output a, f a signal. If it does not successfully run a command, it won't output a signal. So this is great. This is fantastic for, for various, uh, uh, you know, adventure maps and, and item shops and, and so forth. So yeah, this is a great, great little command. Um, and the last thing, you can also just like run a basic clock on it uh, to test something. So if I go, um, so I'm going to go test for, uh, let's just do at play. I'm just going to do XP again because XP is quite easy to actually give. Um, test for at pl uh, player. Uh, level minimum equals five. I mean, this is just a very, very easy one to do. So now I've got a clock running and it'll keep on testing if I'm level five until I am. So the moment I am, so let me just give you that, you'll see that it goes on. And if I take it off again, it goes off again. Okay, so this in a way is, uh, yeah, a, a great, great little feature. Um, now there's many, many more different uses for this and uh, please go watch some of my other videos, especially the videos that I've made since, I think about January, whenever, yeah, since January, when they started working on this. Go check them all out. I use every single feature in every single possible way that you could think of. Um, I've also got a lot of maps you can download to check out how it works. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this very quick, well, kind of quickish video uh, on on the comparator. I will at a later stage do a bit more advanced, um, you know, coding version of it. For example, when how to test signal strength and things like that, um, and how to add and subtract and things like that on this. So I'll, I will, I will definitely do that at some stage. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it exactly where it is. Uh, please do check out my other videos. I've got a lot of, uh, yeah, stuff on there. Cool. Guys, thanks for watching and enjoy 1.5. It's going to be great. And as always, I will check you all later.